It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de la Seine and it's a bottle of their Brussels Calling Blonde Belgian IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woohoo! Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. Look at the colour. Good carbonation, three finger white head, slightly hazy. Can I call it yellow? I was going to call it yellow, but you can't really call a beer yellow, can you? It's a, it's a light straw coloured ale, I'm going to call it. Blonde looking beer. Blonde is the best way to call this because it's called a, a blonde Belgium IPA. Uh, the beer was kindly sent to us from our friends at beermerchants.com. Fantastic company. Thank you very much to Johnny Garrett for these wonderful De La Seine beers. They are a real find for me. Um, beautiful, beautiful beers. Um, yeah, thank you Johnny Garrett and thank you to beermerchants.com. Check the link out in the description box of the video for the Beer Merchants website. Aroma. Oh, that smells divine. That really does smell divine. Lemon, grapefruits, grapefruit peel, lemon peel, oh, juicy blood orange. Mixed with that classic Belgian blonde aroma. It's it's slightly dry in the aroma and Touch a green apple. This smells incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <gasps> oh, boom! Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What an incredible, incredible beer. I made a mistake. I don't mind saying this. In my last Brasserie de la Seine video, I raved just as much of this, just as much as I did about this beer with, with the previous beer review, and I give it a nine out of 10. And people were like, whoa, that was a 10 all day. You raved about it, then you give it a nine, and lots of comments saying, come on, dude, just give it, give it a 10. Why did you take a mark away? And I thought afterwards long and hard about it. And I've always said, if there's nothing that I can find wrong with a beer, then give it a 10. And for that one odd occasion, I gave the beer a nine out of 10. When really what I should have done was just give it a big fat stone the crows, 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna give the rating for this just yet. It's a remarkable beer though. incredibly drinkable fantastic carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth lemon grapefruit pine needle belgium blonde belgium yeast the blonde yeast that they use belgium yeast they use in the beer it gives off a little touch of lemon and a little kind of spiciness all on its own the yeast green apple a little bit of pear So refreshing, so drinkable, a little bit of biscuit malt in there. Uh, this is just, this is absolutely something else. This is something else. This brewery, where have they been? I mean, this has got to be for me easily top three breweries in Belgium. And if you ask me to choose, if you had my arm behind my back about to break my arm and said you need to choose a Belgian brewery 
otherwise we're going to break your arm, I probably would say, ah, de la Seine, de la Seine, I probably would. Um, yes, Canteon beers are fantastic. Yes, there's, there's, there's other beers in, lots and lots and lots of other beers in Belgium that are absolutely fantastic. But this seems to be fantastic and some. It's another level entirely. I can kind of put my finger on it. What I think has happened here is we've got the the knowledge, the Belgian brewing knowledge that has come together and they've added some new world hops and they've added some new world styles mixed slightly with a traditional Belgian way. And I think combining the two this exciting, these exciting stuff. You can't really call them new anymore. They've been around, God, they've been around a good 10, 20 years. But you know what I mean? In terms of brewing history, it's still quite a relatively new style. These, these, these hot bursting IPAs. Some of the Belgian breweries are like four or 500 years old. So, so 20 years is nothing to them. Everything is at a slow moving pace in Belgium. Um, I hope that other Belgian breweries grab some of this and and probably drink it and love it and change their change their their way of thinking still produce your fantastic blondes quadruples triples yeah that, that, them fantastic stars of beer and all your creeks and your lambics and stuff like that but i think after this they might start producing some nice kind of American style IPAs with their kind of Belgium knowledge. They're gonna be, I tell you what, when Belgium finally hit this kind of new world scene, judging by this, the whole of Belgium are gonna knock it out of the park. Let's rate this. <coughs> Look at the lacing on the glass. Look at that. They just know what they're doing. Carbonation's chasing the beer up the, the head of the glass. Nice hazy, hazy beer. Look at this. I mean, goodness me. <coughs> Smells great, tastes great, great, looks great. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.